Hey kids, just looking on uh, Yahoo Finance today, and uh, Sirius stock went from 63 cents down to a 0 0.6055. So if you want to give him 61 for the benefit of the doubt, that's fine with me. I'd like to stick with 60. It makes him feel better about himself. But anyway, I found another idea on what he can invest in. Third world orphan. That's right, I said it. Third world... Uh, third world orphans. It seems to be this rising trend in our country as celebs like Angelina Jolie, Catherine Hagel, and uh, Madonna have all adopted some type of third world orphan. And, you know, it, I just thought it'd be classy you know, to stay with the times. And they can have a couple of their own with the $8,000 that they should have had in their pockets, but don't. Now, I've constructed a graph to show the adoption rates for some of the countries around the world. And if you take a look, you'll... Now, I've constructed a graph to show the adoption rates for some of the countries around the world. And if you take a look, you'll see Russia is at an all-time low. That's not normal, because it used to be uh, somewhere around medium to top, because take a look at these Russian kids, you'll find out that they're kind of cute, all except for the one on the left that looks like he's got Down syndrome. But then people were finding out very quickly as they got older, they turned into something like this. And yeah, it, it's just not good for anybody. And um, Czech kind of fell down the top. They were doing good there for a while when everybody found out this Circus Olay craze. Everybody needed a Czechoslovakian Romanian orphan because they're just really good at acrobatics and circus shit. But then, as you climb up, you see that Ethiopia is the top leader here. I can only think of a couple ways that this could be possible. One, there's just an abundance of Ethiopians, and two, if you're like there, like Madonna, apparently they're free because you can just grab one and run out of the country with it. But it, since Jez is a nice guy, I'm sure he'll throw at least a dollar for each kid. So I figure he could grab at least 500 kids, at least have enough money to grab enough plane tickets for everyone to make it back home safely. Drop that motherfucking desk in here! Yeah.